Wow, baptism. I don't think many of us really think about it much, do we? That that is the one thing that brings us to church every Sunday. Is that we were baptized. Now, some of us being baptized when we really had no choice in the matter. We were infants, didn't we? We were baptized because of our parents wanting us to be baptized and bringing us up in the faith of Jesus Christ. Now, other of us, uh, uh, we were baptized when we, we got older and, and we realized what we were doing. Then maybe there's some of us who just have never been baptized. There's many a things to look at this that some people are not. I was talking to some people this week about it, and, and this one friend of mine, he goes, you know why I got baptized? I said, why? He says, well, I was getting older, and I got tired of going up there and not being able to drink the juice. So I decided to get baptized so that I could drink it. I go, that's for the wrong reason. He goes, yeah, I know. I just wanted to see what your face was looking like when I say that. You see, sometimes people, he thinks about it all the time, but he thought of a way to make it exciting. Imagine him going to somebody else and saying that who's not baptized. He just opened up and planted a seed for the person to think about it. So, some of us have been baptized and we know. Some of us were baptized and we grow and we learn about baptism. As we get stronger in our faith and we build up, we know what our baptism is all about. We start discovering our baptism. We discover what it means to us. We discover how our life is different. It means that life is different than before. Now that's how Jesus was baptized too. At least in Matthew's gospel. Jesus went there because he thought he had to. But afterwards, he knew why he was baptized. For he is the son of God. I think it wasn't until that moment that he really realized he was the son of God. I'm sure he had that hint in the back of his mind. But at that moment, he was reaffirmed. Through that baptism, you are my beloved son. His whole life is going to change. He now has a purpose and a direction. He has a new life. Through his baptism. Just as each and every one of us do. We have a new life through our baptism. Through our baptism. And I believe some of the parts here, if we look at it, you know, our story of Jesus in the Bible, it skips from his infancy all the way up to he's 30 years old. In that time, there was that questioning, that building of faith. And it wasn't until he went to the waters that he realized what his new life would be. What does it God want from me now? He has to ask that question. How many of us, through our baptism, ask that same question every day? What does God want from me? What am I to do? How am I to do this? Where do I go? What am I to do? See, I know Jesus must have thought there was a purpose to going there, to be that baptized, walking in the water next to sinners like you and me, in that muddy nest, getting ready, and get, saying, I've got to do this, it has to happen. And all of a sudden it does. And now that big question, what does my father, what does God want from me? So I looked at the other gospel lessons to see if there's a little more of this one to come out to me. And, and for us to understand this a little bit better. But I find that in all the other gospels, Matthews is the only one that has this conversation with John the Baptist. With John the Baptist, the only one. So God wants us to think about this. This must be important. It's only mentioned once. Really important for us. That no matter who we are, 
Even the Son of God needs to be baptized to give us a new life, to change us in a new direction, a new way. I was baptized as an infant, and I can't remember coming out of that water and then refreshing and seeing and hearing that voice of my father. But as I got older and my faith continued to grow, just as yours does, and you understand it even more, why was I baptized? There's a purpose, a new life for us. We have the faith to go through that baptism. I have a question. I want everybody to start thinking about. What if you weren't baptized? Would your life be different? Through the baptism, you have the faith and belief in Jesus Christ. What if you don't have that? What would your life be like? Would you help those ones who are in need? Will you be willing to forgive so easily? Will you care about others as much as you do? Would you be here in church today? So baptism does give us new life, doesn't it? A new life of happiness, of fellowship, of peace, of love with one another. Some people who are not baptized, I don't think they feel that. They need that. That's something that is missing in their lives. Something that they need. Jesus gave everything up to have that faith in what God wants him to do and believes in it. All his dreams and deeds of what he wanted to be when he grew up, he gave up to start a new life, the new life that God called him for through his baptism. When people ask him in the scriptures, says, well, why are you doing this? And he said, by the authority was through the baptism of John from heaven or not. I was baptized. That's why I do these things. In the waters of baptism, Jesus, he heard that spirit calling him. To speak the truth, to live with grace, just as we're to do, as we're called to do through our baptisms. Wow. That's what Jesus asked us to do. You find that Jesus didn't die of old age, did he? But he took his baptism seriously. We know that when he was on that cross. That through the baptism of him, it freed us in our lives and put a new calling for us. Because he said, it is finished. His job was done. Now it is ours. Ours to carry on. His baptism is complete. Like I said, ours begins. Baptism is like most beginnings in our lives. It has a meaning for that certain event. So you see, beginning is very easy, isn't it? When we're baptized, that's the easiest part. The hardest part is the following through, getting close to that end. Jesus gave us that example of being tortured and beaten, beaten and hung on a cross before his was finished. How about yours? Are we finished? No, we have to continue on. We're here because that's what our baptisms means for us to live it out. As baptized children of God, we live in a world that tells lies and we're to tell the truth. We live in a world that takes things and we're to give. We live in a world that hates people, but yet we're to love. We live in a world that rather fight for things than to live in peace. We live in a world... That it's just a wanting world instead of a serving world. We live in a world that wants entertainment instead of time to pray. We live in a world that takes so many chances in different directions than choosing the one, Jesus Christ, which is our safety net, 
our safety. So baptism is not for our personal gain, but it's for to help those in the world. We're not to seek financial success because that's not our goal in life. Our goal in life is to help others to do the best we can, the highest good, to sacrifice some of the things in our lives just as Jesus Christ sacrificed himself on the cross. You see, baptism is the beginning of our ordination to ministry. You see, it's a vow that we lived out. That we are to comfort others. A promise we make to help others. A thing that we agree upon to do f for Jesus Christ. Baptism is a commitment to share our time with the poor. Listen to the lonely. So what does it mean to be baptized? What does your baptism seem to be doing for you? How do you feel? How do you think? How are you today? Are you filled with that happiness, that love, that joy that God has given us? Remember, God is pleased with you. So we should never ever have to ask that question. Why was I baptized? What does baptized mean? Because Jesus answered it all for us in the scriptures. He said, I was baptized. That's why I do the things I do. And in the baptism waters, you see Jesus heard the spirit calling him to seek, speak and seek the truth. To live a life full of grace. To help those in need. To love one another. That was his first step. And his last step. To guarantee us. A new and wonderful life with God the Father. That's why we're baptized. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us the greatest example. That's Jesus Christ. Showing us that what we are to do, a new life through our baptism. To help others, to be with others, to seek others. Lord, to serve others. Continue to work with us and to help us remember that baptism. Through Jesus Christ, the one he has shown us the way on how to do it. For our life has been changed, and it's a new life, one with you. Amen.